ibuprofen and bupivacaine with bupivacaine alone for post operative analgesia pain is one of the most common and distressing effects of disease as anesthesiologists we regard its relief as one of our main duties if pain is an agony relieving pain is an ecstasy surgery is a form of premeditated injury which is caused due to cutting of tissue traction or tissue injury it adversely affects the patient's morale as well as various physiological functions of the body it has been proven beyond doubt that adequate control of pain in perioperative period results in good surgical outcome reduces the morbidity and reduces the hospital stay spinal anesthesia is routinely administered for lower abdominal lower limb and major gynecological surgeries to increase the duration of analgesia produced by local anesthesia a number of adjuvants have been added through the central neuraxial route which include fentanyl tramadol neostigmine ketamine and many more opioids as we all know are the most effective analgesics but their major shortcomings are their side effects which include pruritus the most common one nausea vomiting respiratory depression and many more effects are due to opioid receptors which are the mu kappa and delta receptors but majority of the side effects are due to the mu receptors that is the reason we are using nalbufen which is a mixed opioid agonist and antagonist it binds readily to both mu and kappa receptors but at mu receptors it competitively acts as an antagonist uh, uh, resulting in uh, decreased side effects and at kappa receptors it has an agonist effect which is the uh, result of its analgesia it may be used singly or in combination with other agents the aim of our study was to analyze the effects of intrathecal nalbufen with bupivacaine compared with bupivacaine alone in providing post op analgesia in lower limb and lower abdominal surgeries our objectives were to notice the onset and duration of sensory and motor block duration and efficacy of post op analgesia and to see for any adverse effects after approval by the hospital ethics committee a bilingual written informed consent was taken from all the patients we selected 60 patients which were belonging to asa physical status 1 or 2 and were aged between 20 years to 65 years they were posted for elective lower limb or lower abdominal surgeries and the anticipated uh, duration for the surgery was 3 hours they were randomly allocated to one of the two groups that is group b where which was a control group in which intrathecal injection 0.5% bupivacaine heavy was used and group n which was a study group in which besides the bupivacaine we added 0.8 mg of nalbufen the exclusion criteria included the asa 3 and 4 patients any hypersensitivity to, uh, or to any of the drugs any long term history of analgesic therapy any contraindication to spinal anesthesia or any uncooperative or patient refusal After pre-loading the patient, intrathecal block was performed in sitting position in L3 or L L3 L4 or L4 L5 interspinal space with a 25 gauge Quinky spinal needle. The patient was immediately given a supine position. Patients were observed for the following: the time of drug administration, time of onset and complete sensory and motor block, time of recovery from sensory and motor block, time of occurrence of pain that is vast score of more than three centimeters, and intra and post operative vital parameters were noted. side effects if any were also noted the assessment of various uh, parameters was done by the sensory response to a pain prick the degree of motor block by modified bromide scale sedation by ramsey sedation score post operatively regression of sensory and motor block was seen pain intensity was measured by the visual analog score score and the various side effects like pruritus pony sedation euphoria dysphoria respiratory depression were recorded for 24 hours the duration of complete analgesia that is the uh, uh, time at which the patient reported the first pain but the va- that is vast score of 0 th- more than 0 but it was less than 3 and effective analgesia that is the first analgesic requirement a vast score of more than 3 was noted all the data were analyzed statistically and significance was measured the results that we got, got was all demographic variables were comparable that is there was no significant difference between the two groups the gender the mean age Uh, the mean weight and the asa grades as we can uh, see uh, we had comparable uh, results in all these parameters then the hemodynamic variables in the two studies that is the uh, study and the control group the again uh, there was no significant change in the two groups the p value was of more than 0.05 the mean pulse rate and the mean arterial pressure was seen the respiratory parameters again there was no significant difference between the study and the control group because we were using opioids so we were uh, considering uh, considering any uh, respiratory depression the distribution of sensory level this is the sensory level in the two groups 
then the uh, mean regression of sensory block basically we uh, studied the onset of the block and then the uh, regression the onset was here we saw significant difference between the two groups the onset was quicker in the study group that is the group in which we use nalbufen it was 1.43 uh, minutes for the uh, study group while as in the control group it was approximately 4.73 the average uh, time while as the uh, post op regression was slower that is the patient had a uh, longer duration of the block similar for the uh, results were for the motor block that is it was significant in the control and the study group the post op regression was slower but the onset was quicker in the nalbufen group duration of analgesia again showed a significant the uh, in the study group uh, the approximate analgesic period was 298 minutes while as in control group it was only 161 minutes Uh, the sedation score most of our patients in the control in the study group were in sedated with were having ramsey sedation score of 3 or 4 while as uh, the control group had a sedation score of 2 the side effects were not significant only three patients in the study group each have one each one having nausea vomiting and urinary retention was seen and uh, two patients each having nausea and urinary retention was seen in the control group The results of a study showed that addition of nalbufen to intrathecal bupivacaine improved post-operative analgesia. The time of onset of sensory and motor blockade was faster. Duration of complete analgesia and effective analgesia was significantly prolonged, and no significant side effects were seen in any patient. Similar results have been seen in other studies. Fournier et al. in 1998 performed his study in uh, patients of total hip replacement. He used 0.4 mg of nalbufen and uh, used morphine in uh, another group and said that despite delay of onset in uh, intrathecal morphine action, both opioid studies produced adequate maximal pain relief in all patients. Xavier et al. in 2000 studied patients of cesarean section. It was a comparative study where he used three doses of nalbufen, 0.2 mg, 0.8 and 1.6 mg, and another uh, group in which morphine, 0.2 mg, was used. Intrathecal nalbufen provides a significantly faster onset of pain relief compared with intra intrathecal morphine, probably because of its lipophilic properties. Mukherjee et al. in 2011 has studied lower limb orthopedic surgeries using nalbufen. They have used 0.2, 0.4, and 0.8 milligram of in, uh, and the control group, and the duration of effective analgesia has progressively increased with the increase in concentration. But they have recommended a dose of 0.4 milligram as the optimal dose of intrathecal nalbufen. Thus, we conclude that intrathecal nalbufen in a dose of 0.8 mg shortens the onset of spinal anesthesia, prolongs duration of post-operative analgesia, provides effective post-operative analgesia, and has no significant side effects. These are my references. Sorry. No, sir. Uh, besides the uh, no, one patient having uh, vomiting, one uh, nausea, and one urinary retention, we did not have. It was not significant in the control group as compared to the control. No, sir. Actually, because it does not, it has an antagonistic effect in the mu uh, on the mu receptors, which is basically responsible for the respiratory depression. So uh, it does not cause uh, duration. Uh, approximately six hours, six to uh, yeah.